Hi friend, I have a philosophical question for you. Can you truly call yourself a pedal builder if you haven't made a tube screamer? The answer is no. It's sort of a rite of passage. This is mine and we're going to make one today. And if that sounds good, join me. Okay, let's open up Eagle and get started. First thing we're going to do is, of course, make our new project. We'll call it TS-808. Then we're going to create a new schematic. All right, let's see if our items are in here. Yes. All right, the first thing we should do is make our power supply. Basically, we're going to make it the same as the one we had in the rat uh, pedal, this part right here. So let's do that. Let's just copy it. How's that sound? Group. We'll take all this. We'll remove this and this. Copy. And we'll go back to our TS-808 schematic. Let's just paste that in there. There's some how we could do it. And there it is. We have a few extra things. But we can get rid of them really quick. That's just a quick and easy way to get the same parts into a new project. I think we're going to change these to 10K. Just click it in value. 10K. And 10K. This will be, we'll make this one or 2K, probably 2K. And we'll go from there. All right, let's see. Now we have our nine volt here. And this voltage divider is going to split it and we're going to be able to bias it here for the 4.5 volt. All right, that's what we're going to do. I may not get through this today, so uh, well, we might have two parts on the uh, schematic, but that's fine because we're going to explain a few things on the way through. All right, let's get our mad beam pedals. We have the mono and pads. Bring that right here. Then we need a ground right here. And we're going to grab a resistor for our input also going to go to ground. We're going to make this one meg. I always like to make the input. Oh, wrong, 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 wrong. I always like to make the input impedance high. So one meg always works out well. All right, I'm going to go a little bit quicker here and we'll get through this really quick. And then I'll provide you with a schematic at the end. Now this, this capacitor here, that's part of the, that's part of the charm of the tube screamer. It's going to cut some of the bass off. Uh, it'll make the guitar cut through better in a mix and in a live context as well. Now we have this power supply here. We have 4.5 volts coming off of this section. So we're going to use that here. This VB voltage reference B, we're going to need it again right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to uh, bias the, uh, the first uh, transistor that we go through. This is actually going to be a BC547 or a 2N3904. Let's let me find one. All right. Since I don't have the part 
in, I'm going to make sure this BC549 has the same pinout. So let's look that up. Looks like it is emitter base collector, collector base emitter. This one's opposite of this one. Hmm. Collector base emitter, collector base emitter. This one's backwards on this one for some reason. I'm not going to trust it because everything else says CBE. So let's go to 547. CBE. Yeah, the pinouts are the same, so we could use the 549. We'll just mark it with this name. How about the value? There. Now we're going to need this voltage reference A. That is under homespun. That's going to go to here. get to use our first integrated circuit. Let's find them here. I need a JRC. Don't have them. All right then. Dual op amp. So we could just use a generic dual. Now you'll notice there are two parts to a dual op amp. So what we're going to do is leave this one here and we're going to move the other one off to the side because we will need that half later. And then it has the power supply. And I usually put it with the first one just so I know where it's at. Zoom in a little bit better here. All right. All right. We're going to need a voltage reference for this. That just goes direct to VA. And this part of the power supply just goes to ground. Now we have this half voltage reference. This is the 4.5 coming through here and it's going to go straight to the non-inverting input. This will help bias this. And now here's where we're going to get into making this sound like a tube screamer. Let's get cap down here. Let's get this out of the way a little bit. There we go. Perfect. I bring this up now. This is going to cut some highs. Let's see, we're going to bring it from the output of the first op amp back into the inverting, into the inverting input. And we're going to get some nice fun diodes. These ones. All right. And what this is going to do is this is going to make it have the soft clipping because it's inside of the output to input circuit of the op amp. There. Now this is where we're going to be able to change our gain with the potentiometer that also goes in there. Let's find it. There it is. We're going to use our regular old 16 millimeter. Which one do we want? I forget which one we use. This one. There we go. It was a little flaky on how it works sometimes. Got to mess with it. All right. We're going to rename this as gain. And here's something that I like to do. I like to give some choices on, I put a switch in and it gives a choice on how much of the base is cut out. And what I did was I changed the capacitor and the resistor that we're going to put in here to give it a little bit more gain and a little bit more base. Kind of defeats the purpose of what a tube screamer does, but it gives you an option. And if it gives too much base, you could change the capacitor on this side. And if it gives too much gain, you could change the resistor that we're adding. But let's do it. I like to add a mod on everything. So what we need is a switch. There it is. Single pole, double throw. Where is it? Right here. Which one do we like? Not many. Eh, this one. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put a cap here and a cap here. And we're going to put a resistor here. 
and a resistor here. I guess we could tighten that up a little bit. And this is just going to go to voltage reference B. And that's going to be our modification for the day. Sorry about that. Windows decided to crash and took my schematic and it's gone. So I've recreated it here. I made a few changes. Uh, I made these 9.1 Ks and a 2K here. So it will retain that approximate 10K um, resistance across this so that we'll get our 4.5 volts at uh, voltage reference B. I've added an LED indicator and these are the values for the stock section of the mod and this is the value of the modified section i think this is a little bit too much on both sides we're going to make them closer to the stock values um, we may even make this hmm, so it gives less gain i'm not sure yet we'll figure it out as we go along um, I've marked these capacitors in the tone area as tantalum. I believe that's the original sort of capacitor and we want to stick with that. Uh, we're going to go with the BC547s here, but I've given both options so we can make a choice later. Um, but I think that's it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with this and I don't see anything else to discuss. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Join me, 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 join me.